Hello everyone. Uh, today's lesson is about uh, about uh, to find out. I, I mean to delete or modify the saved network password. This is a troubleshooting of a problem about when you access a network computer. <coughs> when you are ne access a network computer, what happened? <coughs> Uh, suppose that network computer has a password, uh, login password. So when you want to access that network computer, you need to know the username and password. The user to by which you want to log in that computer and the password for this computer. And when you provide that username and password, there is an option to save the password. Now when you save the password, the next time you access the network computer don't have to provide the username and password for that computer now what happens if the user changes the password if the user of that computer changes his password so what happens next time you want you access that computer from the network the access is denied because the password you have saved for the network computer is now changed and you are unable to access that network computer so how you will access that computer there is a very easy process there is a <coughs> command by which you open a windows utility from where you can edit the password or you can remove that <coughs> user from that registry or from that database and next time you access that network computer it will again ask for the username and password and you provide a new password and you just get into the computer from the network so for that what you need to do I am just showing you in this Windows 8 operating system just go to press your window R and now write control see it is already here I've already tested it and I'm eager to show you how it happens control space key MGR dot DLL just open this one see there is two one of these first one is web credentials and next one is window credentials so I'll show you the window credential in case of web credential you have different options on your browser browser uh, this web credential is actually for specifically dedicatedly for windows I mean for windows what is the browser it is internet explorer I'm not going to the web credential I'll show you the windows credential now see in, under the windows credential there have, there is two things I'm not going to the cert certificate based credential and just want to show you the windows credential these are the computers I have accessed from my computer uh, most of them are installed in VM, VMware workstation um, there is also a Mac computer which is installed in my VM workstation so when I am going to access this computer there is a password I have to give the password mention the work group uh, whatever is required so what you need to do you just select this one there is a say down down arrow key on the right hand side uh, in within a circle just click on to this okay it is expanded and now you see this internet or network address it is the IP of the computer username workgroup root it is a workgroup root password is given hidden persistent enterprise now there is two option behind it one is edit and one is remove if you remove it next time you access this computer 192 168 171 134 it will ask you for the username and password if you edit it and set the new password what will happen you don't next time you access the computer from the network you will do it you don't have to provide the new password so just say this one see if it is with the same work group I mean same work group as your host computer is 
you don't require to mention the work group letter here so if it is from the different work group suppose uh, your host computer has a work group name as work group your guest operating system or some network network computer operating system has a work group name say abcd so you have you have to provide abcd here slash username if this is a root username okay we, since it is a linux computer so it is a root user and this is the password which is saved just go here type the password and save click on save right now i can sh uh, i don't want to make this video a lengthy one so i can i will not show you how to access the uh, change the i have to go to the computer change the password again so it is a very lengthy process so what you need to do we just click on this one again see window r control space key mgr key y k e y m g r dot d l l press ok come to this one click on web credential select the computer uh, click on the down arrow expand it either remove it as you require or edit it and set the new password so that is how you can do this there is also another one uh, I can show you this is the old one this is the old one this is what you call run dll 32.exe this is also applicable which is uh, in your previous windows version because run dll 32.exe is a is a something as a is a application service application which is from previous windows version windows xp or windows 7 and it's been still here as is in a 32 uh, working in a 32 bit 32 bit and 64 bit i mean lower bit and higher bit so what is run dll 32.exe space key mgr dot dll as you have used with the control on the last command and then comma then kr show key mgr you can app I am showing you this because if you have a previous version of Windows as a Windows XP you can apply this command on that one is the same one which is a di in a different pattern in a different Windows interface so you just you can also do the same thing remove it or edit it set the new password click on OK and go just access your computer network computer so there is also another option here yeah, uh, added option you can back up your this credentials and restore it later on what is the um, advantage of backing up or restoring because if you some someday I mean format your computer and you have no credentials saved into it and you are unable to access your network computer okay you don't have um, those users who uh, have the network computer or the, uh, suppose the user is changed new employee came and he don't um, know the password you access with okay so y you can restore from the backup all the user credentials and you can access the network computer you like so this is all about accessing the network, accessing the network computer, changing the credential, or if you lose, um, if the computer is has changed the password, and you have the old credential, you can set the new credential and access the computer. So that's all about this tutorial. Thank you very much.